crochet bear. You're smiling, but it looks almost fake. What's wrong? <laughs> Well, the Buick needs new brakes and calipers and no, no, no calipers uh, yet. Rotors. Rotors. Brakes and rotors. Okay. Now, why does it need rotors? Because you say so. <laughs> because I told you to wait a little bit on the brake pads, and now I ran it down to where I ruined the rotors. Sorry. Okay, so. I told you we can spend fifty dollars now or two hundred and fifty in a couple weeks, and you asked me if it'll. You no, you actually said it. Oh, it'll make it through winter, didn't you? Yes. As you can see, guys, there's no snow. Sun's out. Trees are green. Grass is green. What is today? It's the second day of fall. <laughs> what is today? I don't know the date. It's September twenty-fifth. September twenty-fifth. Okay. Now that being said. How long did I tell you it was going to last? Not long. A couple weeks at the well, most. Well, they don't know when we had this conversation. Yeah, you, you said fall at the latest. Okay. Called it by two days, right? Yeah, you did. I said, it's not going to see October. I said, it'll be lucky to see fall. Yes, you did. Yeah. So, what did we spend? Uh, almost $300 with everything. Yeah, 250 just in parts. Yeah. Well, 240 just in parts. I had to buy a couple tools, but... Yeah. Now, back here. And there they are. There's the brake pads up on top, and there's four rotors. Brand new. There's our brake fluid. We've got the seat uncovered because why the battery went dead brand new battery yep but why'd it go dead I don't know something was left on we've been having trouble electrical problems yeah we had a bad electrical problem it took me a week to straighten it out and apparently something is still running when we shut the car off she didn't leave anything on everything goes out Everything shuts off that we're aware of, but there is still something green in the battery, apparently, so. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I think I might have an idea what it is, but. So anyway, we're gonna, first of all, then what happened on top of everything else yesterday, when you came to get me at work, on top of the grinding that we knew we was gonna have to fix today. Oh, the brakes wouldn't work. What happened? They went out. Why? I love talking to women about this shit. I, I don't know why. This well, thing right the here. The brake line went broke. <laughs> the brake line went and broke, huh? Yes, it, it broke. Okay, it blew a brake line. <laughs> yeah, so we have to put a new brake line in too. Yeah. Everything's going wrong with my, my nice little Buick all that, at once. It's got the Buick measles. It's 16 years old. It's a 2000, but it was actually built in, what, July of 1999, which put it the new model for 2000, so 16 years old, and she wants to drive it, and when I say these little problems need taken care of, it can wait. Yeah. Certain things can't wait, can they? No, they can't. Why not? Uh, because it costs too much when you wait. So, we could have spent 50 bucks a couple weeks ago for pads and 30 bucks today on a brake line. Or we could have spent almost 300 which we did. We chose Pooh Bear's route. <laughs> yes, we did. I, I screwed up. Once so, uh, Once again, <laughs> Pooh Bear screwed up. Yeah, it's that stupid Minion shirt you got on uh -huh. there. I love Minions. They're not stupid. Okay, well, I'm going to videotape some of this, you know, show you guys a little bit what, what goes on. But first, we've got to put the brake line on. And then we're going to get started on brakes and rotors, all four of them, huh? All four wheels. Yep, we are. And that way you'll see it's not that hard. You guys can do it yourselves at home if you have any kind of mechanical aptitude. You know, do it yourself. Or it's no big deal on something like that. But uh, so anyway, we're going to get started. And um, so that's, there's our parts. That top one, that's, you know, the main thing you got to have. You sure? I thought the Miller Highlight was the main ingredient you had to have to change brake lines. Yeah, the thing on top. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are you... 
What? <laughs> Are you okay? I am fine. I said the thing on top. Oh. Hey, YouTube. What's on top? All right. <laughs> what are you giggling for? I don't know. This ain't funny. Yeah. You hear me giggling? No. That's because I'm trying not to laugh. The camera's probably shaking. Yeah. All right, so what are you going to do tomorrow? We're going to go on a boat ride with some friends, so... We'll probably get some video of that, share that with you guys. You know, we like to share everything we do. And Pooh Bear's gonna catch the biggest fish on the boat tomorrow. Anyway, we've heard that before. Oh, it's gonna and happen. One of these days it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get the biggest fish. I don't know when you gotta have the boats. He's got it docked at one of our local lakes where I'm originally from. And uh, I figure what he's gonna do is one more outing with it before he has to get it out of the water, so. But anyway, let's get started on this. All right, Pooh All right. Bear, I'm out for now. All right, uh, Shea Bear, I'm gone for now. We'll get back with you. Thanks. All right, bye. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Shea Bear, I'm back. And Pooh Bear's behind the camera this time. Believe it or not, I just opened a beer. I don't know what she had. She was up a little earlier than me. So, but anyway, I uh, want to show you something, YouTube. Here's our new um, brake pads. These are off the back. These are the ones that was really giving us the problem. I've, I've already got the uh, brake line changed. And I, spared you, I spared you that because it's uh, hard to get up underneath the car when all I have is a jack. So I didn't have the car jacked up if I'm going to clear under it because I'm on the street. And I, didn't, I don't want poo down there with me. Uh, if we was in the garage, I would have done that for you. But can you get a good view of this? Okay, now here's the new brake shoe here. See how thick that is there? You're getting a good view of it. Mm -hmm. See how thick that is there? Now here is the old one of the same shoe. I don't know if the sun camera picking it up mm -hmm. I need to talk to me now as you can see that little lip right there let me get a pointer right there is all it had halfway up it this is metal here this is that part now as you can see how shiny that is that's metal and that's all the gray stuff is all the the pad has left on it so now, that being said, I showed you that to show you this. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, it's a little rusty. Clean it up or have it turned. Number one, yes, you can have them turned. And I'll get to that in a second. This one, we couldn't. And I'll show you why here in a minute. But, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. There's no real no grooves there. But, that's not the piston side. The piston comes out and pushes this pad up against that and then the outer pad is like this so it kind of cocks it in a way you'd never see it and you never feel it, but that's kind of what it does it's so minute but let me show you the back of this thing now if I take something smooth and run across here it hits getting a good view of that honey mm -hmm. see how that's hitting that now on this side it doesn't see how it goes right straight across there this side it does it hits that's how far down and this car ran with the brakes grinding what was it one and a half weeks yeah one and a half weeks so there I mean look at that that's not I mean that don't even want to fall off you know it's I mean look at that that's it just grinded metal to metal and that's that's a bad noise now another reason as you can see look how thick this one is and you take something straight straight across straight across no big deal now if I set this down here on the ground I don't want to set this on the concrete but now Pooh Bear can you get a shot of that right there now if you go across here this has already been turned once you go across there it hits that it hits the other one 
see if I bring it across, that drops down. See that? So this has already been turned once. Any more people can go out and buy these things. What were they? 40 bucks a piece. Yeah. What's it cost to have them turn? Depending on where you go, where you're at, I understand, but around here, it costs 30 to $35 to turn one of them, and I got brand new ones for 40 So, if you really need to save money that bad, I can see it. But this, if you took this into a credible shop that, if you can even find them, some places don't even turn these things anymore, because you can buy them so cheap, it's kind of a waste of their time. That's why they have to charge so expensive. Because it takes a long time to do this. It'd probably take, you know, 45 minutes to do just to turn this. Uh, but it, it, if you have that turn, not only was it turned once, it already had stuff taken off of it. Now, by the time you get this to match this and then run it all again to where it's smooth like this and you get your cross cut. If you see, these are cross hatchings. Now the, the gearheads know what that means like inside a cylinder, when you hone a cylinder, put new rings in. It's kind of like that. Now this is dirty of course, I, I'll clean it up. Always clean your parts before you put them back on. Now the front, okay you can come up here if you want. The front brakes are a little easier than the back brakes on this one. Because like I said it's four wheel disc. Now the back brakes uh, is what your emergency brake, your parking brake works off of. It works off of a cable. Now, in order for that to happen, it's got to turn a little something like a screw inside there, and that's what pushes your uh, brakes out. Now, in order to adjust your brakes on one of these cars, you don't get under there with a spoon like you do the drum brakes. What you do is every so often get in, put your emergency brake on a couple times, and that's what adjusts your brakes out. So it's always good to use that and make it functional, especially when you have this, because if you don't, they're not going to adjust right. Uh, they can hang up on you. The front one, you just push the piston in. You just squeeze it back in with a C-clam. Uh, the back ones, you can't do that, because like I said, as it screws and that screw comes out and brings the piston out, how are you going to get it back in? You actually have to turn the piston with a special tool. Now, I'll show you that here in a few minutes. You actually have to screw the piston back in. Now, you got to watch. Now, this Buick, it will go righty-tighty and lefty-loosey. On a Pontiac, say, for instance, a Grand Am, I know they spin out or spin back in backwards. So, they're left-handed. You turn them to the left as if you was untightening a bolt to get it to screw back in. Now that's very important, I'm telling you this because if you go the wrong way and you pop that piston out, you can get it back in but you're going to have a problem that's going to leak. So now you either got to buy a rebuild kit, which just really involves a boot and a rubber o-ring like looking like thing, that's your seal, or you got to get a new caliper. So watch which way you start to turn that. And if it's starting to come out on you, and especially when it's this far out to begin with, stop, go the other way real slow. When you see it going in, then you go ahead and spin it in. But I'll show you that here in just a minute. Okay, YouTube. This is what I wanted to show you. This is the piston. All right. Now, in order to get that to go back in, you can't just push it in like you can on the front one. Because, like I said, as it, how these adjust is they actually, this stays stationary, and there's a little screw in there. Each time you set that emergency brake, it turns that screw just a little bit, and that's what makes this eventually come out. Now, in order to screw that back in, you can, if you're real careful, do this with a pair of channel locks. I've done it, but you have to be careful. You don't want to rip this boot. This is a dust boot, and as you can see, it's doing its job. Okay, now in here, you see this little divot. Now there's different kinds. Some of them have four, some have two, this has two. And what you need for that, now they make a nice tool for this. It's like, I don't know, around 50 bucks or something, maybe cheaper depending on. Now, but I've got this one. Can you see that? I have got this one. And I bought it for like five bucks. It will fit any car. I've used this on foreign and domestic. It will fit Subarus. Um, but this is the one I need because if you look real close here, 
Um, if you look real close here, that's the one I need. See that curve part right there on the edge? I'm trying to do this because I, I don't want to put you on the tripod yet. See how that's curved? Right there. See how that's curved? Well, if you look in here, that's curved. So you want to find one that closest fits this. Now, I'm going to put you on the pod. Well, Pooh Bear's right here. Maybe she wants to hold this for me. If she can. I'm going to have you come up, like right up here. Okay. Kind of down like this. Okay. Okay. Now, this is what you want to do. You want to make sure. I'm going to try to do this without. Now this one, like I said, screws in. You want to make sure you've got those in the right position. And 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 memorize where this goes too. Because that's where your brake pads, it's going to have the same indentations for it to keep the pads from doing that number. So I'm going to show you here. This is what, what you got to do. Now you got to try to hold it and turn it at the same time. I can't get my hand up on top because I'll block the camera. And I, I really want to show you this. This is this because a lot of guys will get on here and try to squeeze them in and you can't. I don't know if I can get my Okay. And they'll ruin. So alright. Now once they get going, they will go. There it goes. See it? Now, as you can see, like I said, if you watch this right here, see it going back in? See so you can see this going into that rubber, you're good. Now, if you see it coming away from there, that's when I said stop because that, this piston will actually pop out. And, and you, it's real hard to get back in to begin with. And if you do it with old parts, you're, you're just going to have a problem. So, you wanna, what you're going to want to do is screw that. Like I said, this is junk one anyway. But it was five bucks and we've used it several times. Just not on, just not only our car, but other cars. So, you screw that all the way back in until it's flush until it's flat across here see you just keep pushing your boot in and like I said that's just a dust boot however it is very important because without that and you go to do brake time brakes the next time you're gonna have pits there and once you push that piston in it's gonna break that seal or uh, it's going to have burrs and it's going to cause a problem with that that seal that's inside here and it's going to start leaking on you and then once it does it's it's not only you're not only going to lose your brakes but if you even if you catch it in time it's going to be all over your new brake pads or even decent brake pads are, that are still good to go for another year and that will eat them up so and then you're looking at more problems so make sure you do this right guys i can't stress that enough now I'm about safety, but as you can see, go ahead and show them, Pooh Bear, what I've got going on here. I am on the street. Do not ever do this. Don't ever do this. Um, it's, it's very dangerous. If you have to, like I have to right now, you don't have a jack stand, you don't have a block. If you have to, once you just get it enough, just half an inch off the ground, just to where your tire comes off, and do not, under any circumstances, get your body, your extremities, I know I do this is for purposes only for this video but please guys be safe I'm not showing you this because I'm, I'm trying to be tough this is stupid I'm being stupid but if you got to do it like I said don't get it up any higher than you have to and if you can even set it clear down on the jack but before you start any work shake this car grab a hold of it shake and push it because if it's going to fall that's when you want it to fall not when you're under here working Please, again, do not ever do this at home. I have to, I have no choice. But back to this. Now this, you'll know when, when it, it'll it stop. It'll get tight when it's all the way in. Don't over tighten it because you don't want to strip that screw that's inside there out. It's not a bolt, it is actually a screw. Uh, and just go until it doesn't want to go anymore. Now you may have to back it off to line these up which is fine but because it's only going to have to go a little bit so, but see how far it's going in and if you don't screw this in there what's going to happen is you're not going to get your brakes on it won't fit so it's going to be out too far okay now I am getting pretty close 
So what I'm going to do probably, now I've got a little bit more. Line that up right there and I'm going to try to put them on. About right in there. What I'm going to do is put it on. If they fit, that's good. Now once you set your brakes up, once you do your brakes, front and rear and everything, whatever you're doing, or if you're just doing the back, make sure you get in, use your emergency brake, four, five, six, seven, ten times, whatever, just to be sure, and that will adjust it out to where it should be. Now the front ones, all you gotta do is pump your brake pedal four or five times and it'll come right up. This, you, it's not gonna matter. It, you've got to use the emergency brake pedal to, to adjust these back ones because there's they're not adjustable like they used to be with the drums and everything. You can't just get in there with a screwdriver and turn a wheel and adjust it. That's why it's important to make sure that these work, these emergency brakes work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here for now, and I'll get back with you in a minute. What are you doing, Pooh Bear? I'm riding a horse. <laughs> Look, my feet don't even touch the ground. <laughs> That's just too adorable. This is a big seat. Look at my pumpkin. <laughs> That's just too cute. of bees. Be careful when opening. Alright, I'm going to open it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Somebody's got a good sense of humor. That's funny. 